Oh my days, look at that. Look, oh, look at that. That wasn't even connected properly. What is all this? This, what they've done here, that's not correct. That's not Earth, look at that. They just looped it round there. That is completely useless, it's pointless. The installation needs rewiring. I've worked in lots of council places like that and they need rewiring, especially um, where people have done alterations and stuff like that. Hi there, Delroy here again. I'm back at a job I was on a couple of weeks back. Um, they want some, I think an extra socket in the kitchen, cooker point done in the kitchen, bathroom light fitted, a smoke detector and a heat detector. Also, I think they're gonna have to um, upgrade the fuse board. It's in a Mantel unit, so that's gonna need to be done as well. But um, that won't be done today. I'll just be doing the other little things today. So hopefully get in there and film it and so you can see it. Thank you, bye. Right, to start with, gotta get a cooker circuit in. Gotta put an electric cooker there. They want a heat detector in here, but look, those are the fittings they got on the ceiling that I need to pick up my feed from. And they want one in the hallway. I was hoping to pick up from a lighting point, but that's the type of fitting they got there, so that's a bit of a problem. And we also want, that's the Mantel unit that's in there at the minute. They made up their own door, <laughs> so you need to get a metal. Okay. This socket was disconnected the last time. It's, it's not working, it's, it's not connected. So it's either trying to find a box and put a socket there, get the wires there properly or blank that off. But she doesn't want the tiles damaged, so I suggested we put a, another double next to this. This would be the easiest way to do it. She's agreed with that, so I'll get on with it and see what see how it turns out. Right, so the last time I came here, this socket wasn't working. And when I checked it, it wasn't earthed properly, so that was the problem. I disconnected it. Okay, I put the socket back because I didn't have a blank plate. See, that's what I found, look. They're putting some sort of six mil flex cable and you've got these connections behind there. Don't know what they've done there. I'm gonna to have to get this box out. But in doing that, I could damage the tiles because the cables are coming from that way, aren't they? I think I might just have to put a blank plate over this. Oh my days, look at that. You see that? What is all this? Come on, this is a joke. Look, look at that. Look. <laughs> that wasn't even connected properly. What is all this? Well, it's giving me 240 volts, so... Just one second. This, what they've done here, that's not correct. That just came out. That wasn't even connected properly. But what they've done is not correct. I'm suspecting that's for the under-pelmet lights. No, this was, this was for that. Into there. All right, okay, so I wonder what this is for then because it goes along here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you had it plugged in here, yeah, that's right, that's right. But I don't know what this is for. So, the thing is, what I'll do, let's take this out, don't worry about it. Is there anything in the kitchen that should be working that's not working? Because what, what it is, Lynn, this cable here, I wonder if that, that cable, is what they've brought to this point here. Well, whatever it is, it's not done properly. So I'm going to disconnect that. I'm going to leave that out. I suspect that one goes over to there. I could find out actually, because that should be dead now, if that's the case. Because what's going to happen, uh, where is it? I haven't got the box with me, I'll show you in a minute. It's going to be sitting on the surface. Don't worry, I'll get on with it. What they've done there, they've put a three core 1.5, connected it to here, and then brought it behind there and connected to some six mil or even 10 mil flexi and connected it behind there for this socket. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a good thing we found that so we can just cut that out. Just mount another socket next to it and that should be fine. Mm, I'm afraid there's something else the lady isn't gonna like because this socket's not safe either. Cause look, I put the socket and see in, right? Missing earth, that's what it's saying, missing earth. Okay. And then, back to earth, 44 volts. That's no good. Because what it is, the original system is a conduit system, right? And they've fitted that box, but they haven't connected it to the conduit. So it's not picking up no earth. 
it's not safe at the moment anyway. Lynn, yes. <laughs> sorry to tell you this, but you know the problem I found with that socket where I say it's not earthed? Yes. This one's not earthed either. But to get it earthed, that's not a simple job because you've got metal conduits running up and this metal box, what they put in, it needs to be touching the metal conduit to give you the earth. And they haven't done that. So you can't just fit a socket there. It's got to be sorted out. But again, it's tiles got to be removed. Yeah. It's not just that you have to have sockets. You have to have them oh, yeah, working yeah. properly. Yeah, That's the thing. Yeah. Before you go ahead and do stuff and because you've got to move out, you've not had an EICR done, have you? No. Because I found that fault. When I got to do the light, there may be a fault there. Yeah. Well, what I would say to you is get that done before you get any work done. No, no, no? that's going to be done. This has got all of the list of stuff on that list. They won't come back and check until all that's done. And then if there's any more, I can get that done. After. Okay. I think you'd have a test, see what the faults are, and then get them sorted. But, all right, whatever. If that's the way you want to go about it, that's fine. Yeah, sorry. Whatever you want. No, don't be sorry. You're the client. You do whatever you want. So, you want me to sort that part out? Yeah. Then, yeah? yeah. Okay, because I'm going to have to take off some of your tiles. I know. Okay, so all right, yeah, cool. Yeah. There are your two conduits that's providing the earth. So that is, should be connected to there, but they've mullered it. To be honest with you, the best thing to do is to find where these two legs come from and rewire it. The best way is to rewire and pull in live neutral and earth and connect it to the box wherever it comes from. So what happens is, you've got a screw there, yeah? So in the old system, I think these came attached to the box and then you put your conduit in, push it over the conduit and screw it. Because if you look, if I go there, well, it gets about 240 volts, yeah? What I'm thinking is, if I put a lug connected to that, bring it into here, that'll give me earth for this socket. Yeah, that'll continue the earth. As long as I've got an earth, that means my socket's safe. So that's it. Okay, so I'll see. That's what's happened there. I was able to get a earth on that. I wanted to get one on this side, but it's not screwing properly. It's loose. That is nice and tight. I'm getting 240 volts between phase and earth when I touch onto that. So just making space here cut that cable out, fit my box on here, back into it. Hopefully I can do that. Right, so that's where I've got so far. Just got to put my box up now and I have a socket. See how it goes. So that's it there. I've continued the ring with the neutral and the live, but obviously the earth couldn't do that. So I was trying to explain to the lady that although this and this is going to be earthed, because of the disconnection here, you're going to have problems in another part of the circuit, probably. Might need to rewire some part of it. So I know that this is going to be earth. Well, I'll test it after to make sure. And then as long as that's earth, then that's fine. So that's it there. It's on. Good earth. Of course, I'm not going to rely on that. I'm going to do my own ZS. Just need a blank plate for this one here. Right, as you can see, that's dead. That was that um, 1.53 core in earth they used. Come into junction behind here. So that's all dead now. All I need to do is put a blank plate on that. So I'll move on to the light in the bathroom now. So that's the light that's coming down and I'm putting that light there. So it goes. Right, there's no earth here. The metal is the earth. So if that fitting needs an earth, I'm gonna to have to sort it out. Right, this fitting doesn't require an earth, it's double insulated, so that's cool.
Right, that's the thing, you know, a bit of a struggle because getting the, um, the two screws to fix to the box was quite difficult. I was doing it blind. Anyway, eventually I got it on, cover is on nicely. See if it works. Yep, there you go. All right, sweet, next job. So I've got to pick up my smoke detector from here. Got to run a bit of trunking across the ceiling, put it there somewhere. Up there, this is the two plate system where the live loops down to the um, switch. Right over to the switch. So I'm going to have to get the live from there to go to the smoke detector. So I've got to do a little bit of rewiring. So I've got to get the feed from here. Look how they've earthed the switch. Look, look at that. That's not earth. Look at that. I could easily touch that. Oh, this is a joke. This is not earthed properly. I'll have to do that tomorrow, but that's not earthed properly. And because it's metal, it needs to be earthed. Yeah, that's the thing that none of it is wrong. Look at this, that's the type of screw they've used there. So they may have messed up the screw holes. Oh my days, oh, look at this. Oh, again, this is this ain't earthed properly. You know what, Lynn, I'm going to put this back. I'm not going to tackle this today. Because this is a joke, man. You're going to rent this place, yeah? If I was you, I would change all these two switches to plastic, white plastic. Is there a good reason for that? Yeah, because they haven't earthed this properly. It's metal and it needs to be earthed properly, else people can get a shock. And if you're renting, that's one of the problems you don't want. Right, change them all to metal then. Plastic. Plastic. White yes. plastic. It just Another saves... Yeah, because I can get rid of all that and tap it out and put it on. All I want to do is put a smoke detector up, but the aggravation to do it. I'm just trying to do the best for you, you know, so you'll have to take my word for it. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to put up the fitting up here. Yeah. But tomorrow I'm going to have to do some extra work. All right. Right, so we're in the kitchen now, and um, you've got a light thing there. You've got one there. So I'm assuming... On the one of them, there's the beezer box where the supply comes in. So I'm going to need to pick up my power from there. So I'm going to have to pull a feed from the switch line up to there because they've done it to a plate. And I'm going to have to do the same in the hallway. Yesterday I was saying in the hallway that these weren't earth. Well, I was wrong actually when you check it out because the conduit is supplying the earth. So as long as that is screwed to the box, it should be earth. So those should be fine. Only the one, that one over there, you know, it's not put in properly, they've used the wrong screws. Maybe this one, we change it to a plastic, so it can go on properly. Right, so I took down the other fitting and there's um, cables here there as well, I didn't expect that. Well, that's how they've connected that one. That's the earth. Oh boy. Oh, looks like the live is here. I've noticed that earth there, whatever that is, that wasn't connected, that was just pushed up there. And I've noticed they've used a wood screw here. Not a machine screw, so I don't know if they've messed up that hole, I don't know. Anyway, let's see what I can do. Right, so what we've got here, that's been put in later to feed something that's just live and neutral. And there you've got the live and neutral up in there, it's quite short. have got the live, that's the neutral, so I can pick up from there. That hole that will hold there in the beta box is messed up. So I've got to tap that out. I've got my 2VA tap, but I haven't got the wrench. So I'll see if I can do it like this. I've had to put it, use an earth black. Oh yes, that's good, that's good. I was lucky that I could find this one tap on the van. So I've switched the power on, just gonna check, see what earth I'm getting. Yep, 246 to earth. So we've got a good earth there. I'd like to have done it better, but... So now, let's see if we can connect the light. Right, so there we are, got it all up, got the fitting back up, worked out okay. So now I'm gonna have to tackle this one in the hallway, see how it goes. 
The cables in the kitchen light, the lives were really short. So I had trouble making the connection. But it didn't dawn on me, now I know why. What it is, remember this is the looping system, um, two plate, right? Where they um, loop the live from switch to switch. So whoever needed a live couldn't be bothered to rewire it, so they just cut the loop. It didn't um, click until I come out here to do this one, do a short. The fact that this switch, the metal is connected to the box, it's earth. But look, look what they've done there, look. They just looped it round there. That is completely useless, it's pointless. If you're gonna do, put a lug on it and screw it on there properly. Look, look at them connections, look. <laughs> look. Core is showing, it's terrible. Right, so this should be my live. Those other strappers. Right, so I've taped them up. This one here is the live. What they done in the kitchen, they just cut this loop rather than pull a new cable in. Pray that it goes in. Oh yeah, it seems to be going smoothly. Okay, cool, cool. Just gotta make sure that this is loose. Nothing strained in it. It's gone around two corners. There it is, there. I could do a joint here, but no, nah, I don't want to. There you go. That's what I've done. I put a ceiling trunking box up here so I can come around and I sit the light on that. So I'm going to bring my feed over there. That's the switch line in neutral. Let's pick up a neutral with this line over to the smoke detector. And then that's do the light there. Yeah, luckily I was able to pick up the two fixed nose, one there, one there. So my box nice and fixed properly. It's all good. So there we are, that one's in. That's it. Right, see the one in the kitchen's going off as well. It's all linked and everything's good. Right, just have to show you something. There's still a fault on the circuit. In fact, there's a fault on the whole circuit. I'm getting high readings when I do the ZS now. Because yesterday I just checked it with the socket and C and I'm getting 240 volts between phase and earth, but that doesn't matter. The earth is not good. Hi there, don't worry again. Um, it's a bit of a unsatisfactory day for me actually because yesterday I was trying to explain to the lady that I think it's best for you to get EICR done before you do any of this work and she kept saying that oh yeah they're going to do it but they want this done first and I said it's a bit of a backwards way to work get the EICR done find out all the faults cure the faults fit the new fuse board that they recommended and then that's it but now when I first plugged my tester in and done the ZS I got 40 point something so I thought I checked the rest of the sockets in the house that I haven't touched that they're all existing and I was getting like 2 point something 2.28 1.8 something for the ZS and all that as you see I took my one off tightened up the earth first I ran an earth over to it just connecting to the mains just to see what I'd get. And that went down to 1.28, but remember it wasn't connected tight onto the thing. So I think once you get a good earth in there, everything nice and tight in the fuse board and all around the circuit, it'll be fine. But the installation needs rewire. I've worked in lots of council places like that and they need rewire, especially where people have done alterations and stuff like that. So she says um, the estate agent's going to get someone to test because she wanted more work. Then I said, look, just get your test done. Know where you stand before you go doing any more work. So that's what she's going to do. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.